now let us discuss about pumping lemma for regular languages pumping lemma is mainly useful in order to prove that a language is not regular so in order to prove a language has not regular we use a pumping lemma let us see some explanation here let l be a regular language then there is a positive constant then there is a constant n so l is nothing but a regular language let n be a constant a positive integer constant and select a string z such that the condition is mod z is greater than or equal to n so we have to select a string from the language such that mod means length of the string mod means length length of the string must be greater than or equal to n so n means a positive number okay then we have to divide z z means the given string into three parts such as z is equal to u v w in say such a way that mod u v is less than or equal to n mod u v is less than or equal to n and we have one more condition what is that condition mod v is greater than or equal to 1 and for all i greater than or equal to 0 u v power i w is in l is in l okay so this, this is the explanation here so let us see the explanation one more time so l is nothing but a regular language n is a positive integer constant then we have to select a string in such a way that mod z z is nothing but string mod z means length of the string is greater than or equal to n then we have to divide the string into three parts u v w such that we have two conditions the first condition is mod u v is less than or equal to 1 less than or equal to n the second condition is mod v is greater than or equal to 1 for all i is greater than or equal to 0 u v power i w is in n okay uh, so let us see an example uh, so that uh, we will get uh, perfect clarity about this theory prove that l is equal to a power n b power n so here the language is a power n b power n such that n greater than or equal to 1 is not a regular okay so by using pumping lemma we have to prove this language as not regular language so let us see the uh, solution here so let l is let this language is a regular language so let l be a regular language a regular language then uh, there is a constant n so we have to assume some constant so before that uh, let us see the strings here n greater than or equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 then what is the language a, a power 1 b power 1 that is nothing but a b if n is equal to 2 then a power 2 b power 2 that can be written as a a b b if n is equal to 3 then a power 3 so 3 a's 3 b's so on so likewise we can have uh, n number of strings in the language so this is the language then there is a constant n now we have to assume n value so it is our choice we can assume n as 2 n as 4 n as 6 or n as 8 uh, we, we can assume any value okay so let let n is equal to 4 let n is equal to 4 okay so that means we can take uh, the length of the string is 4 characters okay let n is equal to 4 and select a string such that mod z is greater than or equal to 1 so we have to select a string in such a way that mod z is greater than or equal to n so let g is let z is equal to a a b b then what is mod z so mod z is equal to mod z means length of the string 4 so 4 is greater than or equal to what is the condition mod z is greater than or equal to n so 4 is greater than or equal to 4 condition is true or we can assume the string as triple a triple b then what is the length of the string triple a means three characters triple means three characters three plus three means six so six is greater than or equal to four condition is true so we can assume either a a b b or triple a triple b so likewise we can assume four a is four b also so that is our choice so this is over next to divide z into three parts u v w here what is the string a a b b is the string then we have to divide the string into three parts let us assume that this is u it is our choice okay 
let assumes that v means v means ab w means b so here we are dividing the string into three parts such that what is the first condition the first condition is mod uv is less than or equal to n so here mod what is u u means a and what is v v means ab is less than or equal to n so mod aab means here we have three characters so 3 is less than or equal to what is n in this problem n value is 4 so 3 is less than or equal to 4 condition is true and what is the second condition mod v is greater than or equal to 1 what is the second condition mod v is greater than or equal to 1 what is v here ab so mod ab is greater than or equal to 1 so ab has two characters 2 is greater than or equal to 1 condition is true and we have one more condition for all i greater than or equal to 0 u v power i w is in l okay so what is u here u means a what is v here a power b a b v means a b a b whole power 0 what is w w means b w b uh, here initial value of i is 0 so we have to start from 0 here okay so this can be written as a into a b whole power 0 means 1 so a, a into 1 into b is nothing but a b here a b is present in the language a b belongs to l now let us assume this i as 1 so a a b whole power 1 into b so this can be written as a a b whole power 1 is nothing but a b into b so this is double a double b double a double b is present in the language so belongs to l so for space constraints uh, let us erase this portion let us erase this portion now let us assume that i is equal to 2 so then we can write as a into a b whole power 2 into b so this can be written as a into a b whole power 2 means a b into a b into b so double a b a b b so double a b a b b so this is not present in the language so this is contradiction 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 initially we assumed that we assumed that um, and for for here what is the condition for all for all for all v greater than or equal to here what is the condition v greater than or equal to 0 u v power i w is in l so that means this string must present in l but here we proved this as uh, this string is not present in the language so this is the contradiction so we can initially we assumed l as regular language but now prove we proved the contradiction so opposite so we can say that this language is not a regular language why because initially we assumed this as l as regular language but here we got a string which is not present in the language so this is nothing but contradiction so opposite to the assumption so we can say that l is equal to a power n b power n such that n greater than or equal to 1 is not a regular language so likewise we have to prove that suppose if this string is also present in the language then we have to assume i as 3 i as 3 let that string is not present in the language so that is contradiction so we can say that this language is uh, not regular language so in this way we can uh, uh, prove a language as uh, not regular by using with pumping lemma.